The last few days of Jesus' life, they were the most tragic of any in human history. Ruthless men and women mocked Him, spit on Him, hit Him. And amidst all this violence, there stood one man who had the power to stop all the torture. One man who could call off the Roman soldiers and save Christ from being crucified. His name? Pontius Pilate. The Roman official who governed the area of Judea at the time of Christ's death. The story of the crucifixion can hardly be told without mentioning the name of this Roman official who sentenced Christ to death, even though Pilate knew he was innocent. But although the Bible mentions Pilate on several occasions, his name couldn't be found among the archaeological evidence. For hundreds of years, no stone inscriptions or other physical evidence could be produced to support the idea that a man named Pilate had anything to do with either Jesus or Judea. You know, because of this, many people mock the Bible. They claimed that creative Bible writers concocted Pilate from their own fertile imaginations. I mean, after all, if Pilate were such a prominent leader, wouldn't there be some kind of archaeological evidence to verify his existence? Again, the critics were silenced in 1961 when an Italian archaeological team working at the city of Caesarea found a stone tablet. It measured about 32 inches high by 27 inches wide by about 8 inches thick. And on this stone slab, it's now known as the Pilate inscription, were the remains of this very simple title, Pontius Pilate, Prefect of Judea. Almost the exact same title as the one given to Pilate in Luke chapter 3 verse 1. This then became yet another find to remind us that the more we uncover the past, the more we uncover the truth. The Bible is indeed the Word of God.